Okay, good. So now that all the belts are off, uh, we can focus on a couple quick things real quickly while we have it open. What I would do is, there was three bolts on this manifold, sorry about that. So now that you have this open, the manifold off, there's two bolts down at the bottom of the manifold on a hanger. You want to go ahead and loosen those up while you have easy access because you're going to have to loosen that up a bit later. Another thing is a drain cock right here for the coolant. Go ahead and uh, spray that down, lubricate it if you have to. It might be seized up. The idea is you're going to want to loosen that later when you go to put your coolant back in the system. Um, you can go ahead and maybe replace your oil filter now if you want to. Um, check out your engine mounts. Um, and now that you have the beginning of the intake, you can go ahead and start, here's your inspector, air filter. Um, now the next thing to do is to get at the, um, at the timing belt. So basically there's a, a bolt here, it's either a, um, a hat, like a star pattern or um, a Phillips, and then there's one, two here, and then this one, this is for the upper timing belt cover. This comes off with the fan, don't worry, that's going to come off with your pulleys. So now we have access to the timing belt. Okay, this one's definitely older, needing replacement. And we're going to talk about next about top dead center.